it's BGV, and welcome to the newest episode of Fallout 4 Hidden Treasures. This will probably be the best and most interesting one we've done so far. Who am I saying? Why am I saying probably? It definitely will be. Uh, we are going to be doing Dunwich Borers. Yes, that Dunwich. And if you don't know why I'm emphasizing that Dunwich, uh, that's because in Fallout 3 there was a location called the Dunwich Building that had some very similar occurrences as this place. Now, I have been inside of this place, although as soon as I found out that uh, it housed some interesting, uh, very interesting things, I quickly turned back because I knew it would make an excellent um, Fallout 4's Hidden Treasures. Now, I activated the first occurrence. Let's go with occurrence. And so I figured, well, let's go here on Emery and, you know, t and do it with a completely clean slate. So as you can see, what it looks to be is a giant mining operation, and these fellows walking around are going to be raiders. Now, they all have skull icons, which I just realized. Uh-oh! <laughs> uh, I'm not even sure if Emery is going to be able to take all these guys on. Might have to turn this to very easy difficulty, but I mean, the whole point of the series is to show the location anyways. So... Anyways, let me go ahead and try and see if I can take out all of these raiders because there's actually nothing interesting um, on the outside. I'll look. I'll keep an eye out for any terminals, but I don't think there's anything super interesting on the outside. So let me d go ahead and take care of all of these guys. All right, yeah. Even on very easy difficulty, this is going to be way too difficult for this low of a level uh, character. We're only level 10 on Emery, so. I'm going to try and do the coward's way. I'm going to get to maximum health, and I think I'm going to make a break for the uh, entrance to Dunwich Boars. Now, hopefully there's nothing outside that's interesting. Maybe I'll hop on my other character and see if there is or not. But I think what we'll do is we'll activate the first instance of what I was talking about, and then we'll come back here on a different character. I just want to show you guys everything, uh, and I don't want to miss even the first, just the first, like... Instance, you'll know what I mean later on. Um, do we have any pit boys or any stealth boys? That's the question we do. All right, so we'll activate that and then we will make a break for the front entrance. There we go, Dunwich Boars. I guess I should probably show you guys where this is on the map before we head into uh, Dunwich Boars. So here it is, Dunwich Boars. It's going to be all the way to the northeast, all the way down here. You can see on this character, I don't have a lot of uh, locations activated. It's Diamond City, so Dunwich Boars all the way up here. Definitely a location you want to check out for yourself. All right, so stealth boys in this game run out very quick, so let's go ahead and quickly make a break for it. You can see it's just a mining operation with a ton of raiders outside. Uh, nothing really interesting. There might be a terminal or two. I actually I definitely found that there was a terminal, but I think it only activated uh, turrets Okay, so I think we'll be okay from here on out uh, Because I can take these guys out one by one with stealth whereas out outside out there There's just a ton of them um, in an open area and a level 10 character even on very easy difficulty is not really gonna be able to handle that so Goodbye, trap. So, yeah, it's a mining operation, obviously, and there's some rumblings, which is normal for a mining operation. Um, let's see. I didn't even notice this the first time around, but we have, like, an elevator here. Let's go ahead and activate that button. Also, I see some raiders. Or, I did see some raiders. Yes, there we go. You can see they all have skull icons. Yeah, I definitely did not go up this elevator the first time I was here. Um, so, I don't know what's up here. It looks like we have a door, though. Okay, interesting. What do we have behind this door? Oh, well, it... Requires a key. Okay. Never mind. Can we just drop down? Do we need to use that elevator? No, we don't. We have boots of steel. Not literally, but figuratively. Okay. First area. I see a terminal over there, but where was that raider? There's a couple of them. Um, we can use all the help that we can get, so let's see if we can go ahead and hack this. What was that? Bathroom scale? <laughs> That's an odd place, isn't it? Alright. Station 1 terminal. Let's see what this has for us. Communications. Urgent message. Message from management. Message to Bob Stanson. Station 1 received. Bob, you've ne you're needed immediately down in Section 4. We'll explain when you get here. Management. Okay, to management. Request for new support beams repeatedly repeatedly denied. Thank you for extra padding in Station 1 terminal. Station 1 output highest. It's been all year. You're doing great work, everyone. Alrighty, Station 1 update. We continue to produce good cuts from this section. Ventilation excellent. Morale good. Incident free for 93 days. Well, that's good to hear. Safety first. Wear eye protection. Falling debris. Railings. I don't think we need to read that. Upcoming events. Happy hour. Annual picnic. I don't think we need to read that. How about turret control? Are they going to be activated? Yes, they are. We'll definitely deactivate them. Alright, so I think this was a pre-war terminal. Well, they're all pre-war terminals, but I think they were... Uh, the entries were written by pre-war 
entities. All right, so we have a terminal over there, but it's deactivated. We also have a raider here. Let's get a sneak critical off on his head. And I was going to say, let's kill him, but that's not going to happen, but that's okay. At least we can kill Skull Icon people. There's also a raider in the distance there who's probably going to be alerted right now. There we go. All right, let's use our friendly vats, friendly neighborhood vats to take this guy out. Come on, vats. I just called you friendly, and you're going to miss that 83% shot. I can't even see this guy in the light. Um... I don't want to waste too many shots because we don't have a lot of fusion cells. Oh my god, I can't even see this guy. Alright, let's loot this guy real quick. Boom, boom, boom. Anything else? Quick? No. Alright. No, I'm not getting tired yet, but you, my friend, are about to die. Did you just use a st uh, stim pack? He must have. Alright, we're going to keep this moving as quickly as possible because I know this location is uh, fairly long. There's like four stations and we've only reached the first one, so I don't want to take, you know, 20 minutes to get there. Um... So let's go up here. What do we have? We have a cell door. Looks like we can't even activate it, though. Oh, that's because we're in our quick selection menu. Let's go ahead and open that. Where are you? Here you are. Close. Close. There we go. And inside of here, we have a duffel bag. Let's take the short hunting rifle, because I don't think I even have a hunting rifle on this character yet. And that will definitely come in handy. Hunting rifle. Short hunting rifle. There we go. We'll put that, um, I guess, over here. Okay, not much else in this cell, so moving on. Let's go ahead and drop down here. There's probably, yes, there are a bunch of raiders, so let's grab that hunting rifle, which uses some 308 ammo. We did get the sneak damage, but it did not kill him. Where'd he go? There he is. All right. Hopefully this will, though. One more shot. Goodbye, sir. Still in caution. A couple of dudes in the distance there. They do not see me. Alright. Let's see. So this would be station two. I guess we can tell by those big red markers. Um, we could just sneak by these guys. Eh, that's, no, that's no fun, is it? They might have keys or something. That was pretty cool if I do say so myself. Let's finish him off in vats. Okay, we have a crit yeah, critical available to us. Reload. Come on. Yes, I know he's dead. They really need to streamline that vat, those vats animations, like seriously. Alright, let's get right up to this guy's face and get that critical off. Hot plasma, like, right in your face. I guess fusion cell, but, you know. Okay, not too bad so far. I really don't like doing this on very easy. I don't, trust me. And I know you guys are probably a little bit disappointed, but... The alternative is to come back here on my other character and miss out on the first, uh occurrence as i'm going to say again and i think you guys would rather see everything wouldn't you all right let's use a couple of stim packs boom boom and i don't think there's anything else in station two i'm not seeing anything so moving on let's see oh should have been in sneak we're already in station three though so that's good looks like there may be only one person no we are still in danger so let's go ahead and activate this terminal which is probably going to activate some turrets again Let's see. Communications. Are they different communications? Station 3 update. John at Station 2 continues to complain to our crew for slowing down their production. No matter what I say, he tells me to bring it up with you guys. Can you please talk some sense into him? He knows we need the equipment. Thanks, guys. All right, so far these terminals aren't really providing too much important information. And no terminals on this one. Or no turrets on this one. All right, so let's loot this guy. Where'd he go? There you are. Boom, boom. Damn it, I wanted to drag his body over the edge, but that's not going to happen. We have a circuit breaker here. Looks like it may have just turned on some lights in the distance. Let's kill this raider. Your life meant nothing. Okay. We can definitely drag his body off, though. So let's loot him and do that. Off you go. Bye-bye. All right. We are back in caution, which is always good. Let's get out our hunting rifle, I think. Yeah, because we're running pretty low on this um, righteous authority ammo. The fusion cell ammo. Some more shaking of the Dunwich Boars. I was going to say building, but I guess I should say operation. Alright, is this station 4 or what is this? Let's see. That guy is dead. I see a terminal there. Where is that person? I need to kill that person before we do stuff. There she is, and her name is Bedlam, and she is Unique Raider. Sweet. Or she was, after this round of Vats. Although, no, because Vats always lies to me, and it doesn't 
deal nearly as much damage as the Sith's going to do. I guess it does. If we actually hit that one shot, she would have died. Goodbye, Bedlam. Oh my god, you Stimpak using bitch. Die! Oh, Jesus. Okay. Guess we need to kill you in vats since my accuracy is god awful. Die, please. Oh my god, stop surviving with one hit. Thank you. What does Bedlam have? Just a bunch of ammo and not much else. We already looted that guy. How about this terminal? Station? No, Bedlam's terminal. All right. Surprised she didn't have a password or something. Let's go ahead and hack this. Okay, there we go. Cleaning house. Bunch of goddamn cowards. Saugus can't run without its iron, so Slag sent me to figure out why the scum in this place can't turn out a shipment of scrap to save their lives. And who do I find, and what do I find? These yellow bastards eating food they haven't earned, whispering to themselves about the things down in the mine. Well, I'm here now. These maggots have bigger things to fear than a couple of ferals. Another stoppage. Last two shipments made it out on time, but the crew we sent to clear out the ghouls down below haven't come back. We're running out of scrap up here. We need to get deeper into the mine. Guess I have to do everything around here. And I'm safe in the light. 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 Okay, it's just that repeated constantly. Looks like Bedlam went crazy, although she seemed to have her mental capacities when we fought her, at least as much as a raider would have. Let's utilize this sleeping bag to restore some health for absolutely no cost whatsoever. Here we have a magazine, Astoundingly Awesome Tales. Uh, take 5% less damage from robots. Attack of the Metal Men. Cool beans. All right, anything else we have over here? Some goggles, a working helmet, blast radius, a big steamer trunk. That's always nice to see. Let's see. Some shotgun shells and dandy boy apples. It looks like that is it for, I guess, not station four. This isn't even station four. So, yeah, if I seem a little bit rushed, it's because I know the majority of this is um, just raider filled crap and there's nothing interesting really up until this point so i'm trying to get to the interesting section that's why i'm uh, rushing a little bit and once i get to that section i will stop let's take the shovel i'm not even sure if you need shovels to dig in this game i do know there's a dig mechanic and i'm assuming you do need a shovel so i'm going to take it just in case so we have some dead feral ghouls here none of them are alive which is fine although our hidden in, our hidden bar is uh, moving which means this guy is going to be alive but we'll kill him with sneak um Really miss having a silencer like my other character Joel has. We have a circuit breaker here. Not sure if it's a good idea to turn that on. We're safe in the light though. Oh! Okay. Where did you come from, dude? Oh my god. Where did all these guys come from? Holy crap. And there's, they're behind me as well. Alright. Time to utilize our friend Vats. Boom, boom. No, get the guy in front. Boom, boom. There we go. Come on. Yep, see, just take forever to fire the second shot. Let's go ahead and execute a critical. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Fire, fire, fire. Oh my god. Oh, that's so weird in this game. I swear it wasn't as bad in uh, Fallout 3. All right, we're doing good so far with the semi-automatic rifle up close, right? Okay, let's dodge that. And, uh Okay, one more hit. Let's just go ahead and bash his face in. There we go. Not too bad, not too bad. We also leveled up, but... Honestly, it's not going to make that much of a difference, so I think we'll keep moving on. Oh, we still have a guy up ahead. Okay. There we go. So we've already searched these areas, right? Actually, we didn't go over here yet. Military-grade duct tape. Always nice to see. Okay. So she's safe in the light, so I guess... I don't know. We want to be in the light, although that's counterproductive to me because I like being in the shadows because I'm a sneaky character, but... Oh, well. All right. Just a bunch of dead ghouls still. Anything over here? That guy died driving this thing. How unfortunate. Okay, I think this is the section that I was referring to right about now. Flash of white light. Isn't that familiar? Oh, these guys are alive. Isn't that great? No, they're not. They are dead. And I'm hearing some ghoul rustling around. And the lights just shut off. And these ghouls are activated. Okay, you die. Any other ghouls around here? There has to be because my hidden bar is going crazy. All right, let's activate this again. We want to be in the light, right? That's the uh, theme I'm getting here. All right, let's go up here first. By the way, I have not been through this section yet. All this is completely new to me. That first little flash there, that's what I was talking about. wanted to show you guys that, so that's why we're here on Emery. All right, kind of, kind of thinking that we should have went down there first. Um, let's go ahead and activate this. They're waking up, though. 
Oh, and they're legendary, too. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay. What is our best weapon? Righteous Authority, I guess. Okay, we're gonna have to use Vats here. And that just lit the whole place on fire. And more ghouls are spawning. Oh, my God. And we only have 14 shots left. All right. This is gonna be difficult. Right away, and stim packs, and let's level up. Why not? Any help that we can get. Um, Rifleman, yeah. Increases the damage with non-automatic rifles. Okay. This is going to be somewhat difficult. Especially we, since we only have four more shots left. Okay, now let's switch to the hunting rifle. I guess is going to be our only bet. There we go. And... You're dead. Okay, I'm not even going to search these ghouls because I'm going to assume they're not going to have anything. Alright. Is that a legendary? Did I see a legendary? I think I did. Uh-oh. Yep, that's a legendary feral ghoul reaper. Alright. I think we're going to be using all of our stim packs here. Although he's taking a lot of damage. There's the mutation. Let's reload. How much AP do we have? Why is it not showing me? There we go. We have max. And die. Okay. I don't think there's going to be any point in sneaking around. Duelist Raider's right leg. 10% chance to disarm melee attackers on hit. Alright. Let's get to the meat of this location, shall we? Oh, another legendary Faragul Reaver. Sweet. Okay, there's the mutation. Gonna have to use some stim packs here. We only have 28 shots left with this. Boom, boom, boom. This location is gonna take everything that I have, and it's also going to be extra long. Okay, yeah, you just stay right there, buddy. Let me go ahead and bash you. Thank you very much. And what do you have, my friend? Exterminator's 10mm auto pistol does 50% more damage against Mirelurks and bugs. What a crappy effect. Oh my god, how often do you see Mirelurks? I've done almost everything in my other playthrough, and um, I've only seen maybe like. I've only seen them in maybe like five different locations. Okay, you die. Oh, maybe I should wait for. Completely done reloading first. Oh my god, how many ghouls are in this place? Looks like we have at least two more. Alright, screw that location. Let's go straight ahead just to close off some loose ends. That goes downwards. Man, this place is so big. Okay, is there anything up here? Doesn't look like it. No? Okay, so that area is tied off. We have a couple more ghouls up here. Bash you. Okay. Hopefully this is the last one. Let's dodge that. Did a great job of dodging it. Vats, you are my friend. Hit him once and do a critical. No need. It would have killed him in the other with the other shot, but oh well. There we go. I think we're good to go now. Okay, what do we have down here? What is this? Mining helmet. Great. Thank you. That's what I needed. Okay, is there anything over here? I think we already checked this, but just in case. No, we didn't. We did not because we did not turn on the circuit breaker. This is... Station 5 that would appear. Oh my god, even more ghouls. So many ghouls. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There we go. Probably gonna have to switch to that 10mm pistol, even though it does nothing extra to ghoul. Just because we're almost out of all of our other ammo. Okay. I don't know if we should continue this way or the other way, but I guess we'll just go this way for now. What do we have here? Raider, shotgun shells, nothing else. Circuit breaker. We already activated this one, though, didn't we? Yes, we did. All right. Turn that back on. I need the light. There we go. Anything over here? I see a stim pack. Let's use a right away and a couple stim packs. Return to full health. Okay, nothing over here, it would appear. I don't want to be going up. Like, I want to be going down. Dead body in the corner. Just another raider. What was that weapon, though? It's not a weapon, that's a lantern. Alright, moving on. Oh man, this location is so long, I didn't realize it was going to be this long. But that's quite alright, as long as it's worth it. Uh, uh, <laughs> don't miss. One shot kills are always nice. Circuit breaker, activate. Are these guys dead? Yes, they are. Alright, moving on. Jesus, there are so many ghouls in this place. Okay, I think I'm just going to cut every other fight because I... <laughs> There's not enough words in my mind that can account for all of this fighting to commentate over. Alright, what do we have down here? Nothing. We're just 
constantly turning on all of these circuit breakers. I think we should have went the other way because it's... Yeah, it's definitely leading us, like, further and further into the dungeon. Okay, but we have a door here as well as another dead raider. Dunwich Borer's Key. Actually, never mind. This is probably going to be that door that we couldn't activate before. Yep, it sure is. All right. So, I guess... Um, let's just check this and I will return back to that other branching path. Okay, I believe this was it. Let's go back into Sneak now. Have we, haven't we already been to Station 5? I see dead ghouls all over the place. Um, oh man, now I am lost. Alright, let's see. No, it, it definitely... No, okay, we just need to go more backwards and there's gonna be, there's gonna be a place to the left that we can go, yeah. Alright, so we have not been this way, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. I'm not too sure, Jesus. Alright, let's loot him and let's move this way. I think this is the correct location. Yes. Okay, we've been up there, I think. Yes, okay, so we need to go this way now. Alrighty. And you are alive, and not fooling me whatsoever. We have six more shots with this. Let's see, Nuka-Cola and stuff. Big, open, scary chasm. Also, there's a terminal over here before we activate that. Let's miss our shot! Damn it, come on! Okay, jeez. Station 4 terminal. Haven't we already been to Station 4? Safety first, oncoming events, play tape, eject hollow tape, done which Tim shoots. Is it playing it, or what's going on? Do we need to eject it? Alright, I guess let's eject it. Done which Tim shoots added. Let's listen to that. Tim shoots, Tim shoots, Tim shoots. Where? Why is it not here? Okay, so it's done which dash Tim shoots. Station 4 are still under the impression that we are setting up a new station beyond this area. The standing and the fire are convincing enough. However, here are the other project managers at the other station, especially Bob at Station 1. We all know he takes his job very seriously. Bullet point updates like the hell out of me. The gun tells me to figure out something's going on down here sooner rather than later. He's advised. Okay, so I don't know why the subtitles cut off there. We are one shot away from being empty with this uh, weapon so let's go into inventory and weapons and put that uh, actually do we have any oh yeah we have some shots with Kellogg's pistol oh we already had it equipped why did I not think that we had Kellogg's pistol I don't know anyways moving on what do we have here Bradley Ramon uniquely named ghoul kill him in one shot Thank you. Could use a break here. And then get out of that. Good. All right. Some more ghouls. I guess these are all the people that we just saw. Oh, they're all uniquely named. John Hatfield. I wonder if that's a reference to the Hatfields and McCoys. The legendary. Oh, there's Tim Shoots. We just heard him on the uh, on the uh, holiday. Okay. Goodbye, Tim Shoots. I said goodbye, Tim Shoots. I said goodbye. Okay, Dunwich Management. Boom, boom. Let's listen to that now. Dunwich Management. Tim, good job on keeping things under wraps. We've taken your advice and have asked the other project managers to meet you at Station 4. Stall them if they arrive before we get there. They haven't been told anything. We are very close to accomplishing our goal. Please be patient. You will be rewarded in time. Okay, so I don't know. I, I, I'm guessing some sort of um, mystery cult or something. Like, that's what the Dunwich building had to do with. Some sort of weird black magic sort of stuff. We have a pool down here. And uh, I don't know. If you ever see a deep, dark pool in a Fallout game. or I mean, if we were actually playing as Emery in real life. I wouldn't do this, but we have to. So into the pool we go. Oh my god, how deep does this go? Jesus. What? What is this in the ground here? 
I'm not sure, but we're gonna have to like go back up now. Um, all right. I think what we need to do is save the game here because I have a very strong feeling that we are going to die. So let's go ahead and save there, and we'll take things one by one. In the ground, we have some sort of giant metallic. That's a face. That's a face, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. That's like a statue in the ground. I have not seen that anywhere else in any other location. So maybe that's a unique um, asset there. All right. Back down we go. Let's go into that tunnel now. But that is interesting. All right, we have a skeleton here. And we have some sort of underwater altar here with Kremv's Tooth. I've heard of this weapon, but I did not know where it was because I haven't been looking up any information. I want to find this stuff for myself. Targets bleed and are poisoned. Exceptional damage. Wow. That sounds really, really, really good. We also have two mini nukes here. Uh, let's take you, and let's take you. And is there anything else? We need to get the hell out of here before we drown to death. We're also getting six rads per second. Anything on this skeleton? Not that I can see. All right, up we go, up we go. Man, Emery has the best, the best underwater breathing capabilities I've ever seen. All right, so I would end this episode. Eh, I would end this episode here. However, I know that we're missing one final thing, and I need to go find it. And I'll see you guys there. All right, so actually we passed it. Uh, it was right next to us. Remember this terminal? Yeah, right here is going to be the sneak bobblehead. The safest distance between two points is a shadowy line. You permanent, you are permanently 10% harder to detect. Cool beans. All right, let's take a look at that weapon, shall we? All of this for this. Targets bleed and are poison. Exceptional damage. It's, inter it's interesting that it says exceptional damage. And it's a very unique looking thing. It looks like a piece of scrap metal. Very cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that was done, which borders definitely probably the most intensive uh, hidden treasures I've ever done uh, in this game or in Skyrim. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Obviously, this location is very, 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 very unique. And yet again, the epitome of what we're trying to accomplish on this series. Thanks for watching again. Leave all suggestions below. By the way, I didn't mention that um, I found this place myself, so I didn't really take it off of a suggestion. But leave a suggestion below if you want me to explore it. And if you want, I can't even talk because I've been talking for so long. If you want me to explore a location, and if I do, I will definitely give you credit. Thanks for watching again for the like, what, fourth time? And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye. Jeez.